All right, folks, it's been a day and a half. The uh, sealant, the silicone has hardened up on the case and it is ready to have oil put in it, but we're gonna let it sit there a little bit longer because there's no sense mounting this until we get the welding done on the tractor. So I'm going to uh, come up with uh, some sort of solution for reinforcing this bracket. I've got this chunk of uh, angle iron that I've had around for a while. And uh, I think I'm gonna use a chunk of that on here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut off inch and a half pieces off of the angle iron and I'm gonna make four pieces with holes drilled in them and it will be super, super strong. And I've got the bandsaw set up to do a cut and I've got the stop put in place so I can cut four of these exactly the same size. So uh, let's let the bandsaw do its job. So here we have the brackets or the pieces that I cut out. I've uh, cleaned them up some with the grinder and they're gonna get welded on on the top just like this. And uh, they'll have holes drilled through them of course so that the transmission can bolt on the way that it used to. I've got the welder set up. I've got uh, a couple of these pieces in place. I've got the ventilation running. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get to it. Again, 
probably most of this is going to get edited out because you guys aren't going to be able to see anything, but there we go. camera once this cools off we'll drill some holes and uh, show you guys what it looks like I've got the brackets welded on and mostly cleaned up I still need to drill the holes in them but uh, they went on there quite well I'm very pleased the other side is exact same thing not so much light over here so I don't think you guys can see it as well but just need to drill some holes in them. I'll probably touch a couple places up with a grinder just so I don't have any overhang or sharp edges. I got oil in the transmission, I got the holes drilled out. On this. Built 
And then this wire, this switch gets plugged in. And that will Second bolt in here. Oh, there's the plan. We'll do the same thing on the other side. All right, now that we've done that, I can jack it back up. And then I can put the bracket back in place. All right, I decided I'm going to hook up a few things here before I forget, or before I put stuff in the way that makes it more difficult. So this is the forward reverse linkage. It just uses a hairpin. Oops, I'll be hitting the camera. So you've got this silly spring. And this rod with a cotter pin. And this is the brake rod. All right, I didn't shoot any footage of it, but I scrounged up a couple of uh, engine head bolts and put them in here to hold this bracket on. Uh, this bolt here was the one that had been broken off in there. I've removed it and put a, a new bolt in there, which is a very high grade. Um, we've got lock nuts on them. There won't be any problem with this from this point on. Now I've just got to put the main bracket back on, which bolts onto here and then bolts onto the frame. Okay, here is the bracket that bolts that connects these brackets to the frame. I'll just finger tighten these ones. I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up. Oh yeah, so that one goes in here and one goes in here. We'll just push up on the front of the transmission. Slide one of these into place. Oh, yeah, not a problem. All right, so we'll tighten these ones up. But then I'm going to wait. I think I might need to put nuts on the back side of this. I think the, whoever worked, yeah, whoever worked on this last stripped them out. <laughs> This one's stripped in the plate, so I'll have to put a nut on the back side of that. Put uh, some nice thick oil on there. Make sure the shaft doesn't get rusted up. Slide the wheel on. And we 
We've got the wheel on, we'll put the key in place. So we got a washer, and we got the E clip. And I don't think I can push it on with my fingers. And then we've got the rubber cap. Repeat the same thing on the other side, and then we can try it out. Alright folks, that's a job completed, um, it's ready to go back to the customer, I'm just going to let it sit here for a couple of days and see if we get any drips on the floor. The main issue was that it was leaking out of the front of the transmission so I just was underneath it and uh, had a look and everything looks good, it works perfectly and yeah, I'm happy with the way the job went. Um, for any of you who may be interested in uh, the hydrostatic transmission video in a little bit more depth, uh, sometime in the future I will be taking apart uh, this transmission and uh, basically showing exactly how it works and all of the pieces. May even do some measurements and show why this particular one stopped working. So that's it for now. I will see you guys next time.